Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got this uh, rectangle uh, A, B, C, D and this uh, circle uh, with the center O uh, put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the diagonal of this uh, rectangle and the diameter of this uh, circle overlap each other and P is the point of uh, tangency and moreover the radius uh, of this uh, circle uh, is uh, for units whereas this uh, side length uh, of this uh, rectangle uh, BC is uh, 6 and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We know that uh, this A, B, C, D is a rectangle. So that means all uh, its uh, angles uh, are going to be 90 degrees uh, each. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this uh, point E with this uh, point uh, F. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if uh, A, E and uh, F are uh, three distinct points uh, on the circle where the angle uh, EAF uh, is a right uh, angle then the line uh, EF uh, is going to be a diameter as you can see this uh, diagram we got these EA and F uh, points on the circle and this angle uh, EAF is a uh, 90 degrees so no wonder this uh, EF uh, line is going to be the diameter of uh, this circle and it will pass through this uh, center O. So therefore uh, this uh, EO is the radius uh, of this circle so it is going to be 4 units and likewise uh, OF is the radius as well so this is going to be 4 units as well. And here's our next step we have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular PQ as you can see over here. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle is going to be 90 degrees since uh, this is our tangent line and this is our radius. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius uh, of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. As you can see over here, we can see that this uh, AF uh, is the chord and uh, this is the radius and this is a uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, it is going to divide this uh, chord AF into two equal parts. This uh, length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, segment length. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, yellow shaded uh, region. And we can see that uh, this uh, diameter EF uh, has divided uh, this uh, yellow region into two parts. This part uh, is the semicircle, as you can see, and the other part is uh, this uh, right uh, triangle EAF. As you can see in this uh, given uh, equation, the yellow region uh, area is equal to the semicircle area plus the area of this uh, right triangle uh, EAF. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle and likewise we are going to calculate uh, the area of this uh, right triangle EF as well. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, semicircle whose uh, radius uh, is uh, 4. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square where r is the radius uh, of the circle. So therefore the area of this uh, semicircle is going to be pi times uh, our radius is uh, 4. So it's going to become uh, 4 square and we are going to divide it by 2 since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle. Let's simplify the right hand side. So this is going to give us 16 pi divided by 2. So this turns out to be 8 pi square units. So therefore the area of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 8 pi and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, EF and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base times height. So therefore in order to calculate the area of this uh, triangle EF we must find this uh, side length uh, AF 
and likewise uh, this other side length uh, AA. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, OP is the radius uh, of this circle. So this is going to be four units. And since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle, so this side length uh, is uh, six uh, units. So therefore, uh, this uh, PQ length uh, is going to be six uh, units uh, as well. So therefore, this uh, OQ length uh, is going to be six uh, minus four. That is going to give us uh, two units. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, AQO whose uh, side lengths are uh, four and uh, two. And we are interested in calculating this uh, side length uh, AQ. So therefore, we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. A in our case, uh, we need to figure it out. B is 2, so this becomes 2 square and C is 4, so this is going to become 4 square. So it turns out to be A square plus 4 equal to 16. Let's subtract uh, 4 from both sides. This is gone, so therefore uh, A square turns out to be 12. Let's undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore uh, A turns out to be equal to 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3. And as you can see over here, the square root of 12 could be simplified to 2 times square root of 3. So therefore, our this uh, AQ length uh, turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 3. And now we know that these uh, two segments AQ and QF uh, are equal. If this side length is 2 times square root of 3, then this side uh, is going to be 2 times square root of 3 as well. So therefore, this whole uh, length uh, AF is going to become uh, 4 times the uh, square root of 3 by just adding uh, these two individual lengths. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, EAF and this uh, tiny triangle uh, OQF are uh, similar triangles according to angle-angle uh, similarity theorem. Since both of these uh, triangles are uh, 90 degrees each, and this is their angle in common. So therefore, we are going to have a proportion. So in other words, the ratio of uh, AE divided by EF is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, QO divided by OF. And now we know that this uh, EF diameter is 4 plus 4 is going to give us uh, 8. So therefore, EF value is 8. QO value is 2. And OF is the radius. So it's going to be 4 units. As you can see in this uh, next step, let's multiply both sides by 8 uh, to isolate uh, AE. And we can see this 8 and 8 is uh, gone. So therefore, our uh, AE length uh, turns out to be 4 uh, units. So therefore, our this uh, length uh, AE turns out to be 4 uh, units. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, EAF. And now once again, let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And here we can see our base is 4 times square root of 3 and our height uh, is uh, 4. So therefore, the area of this triangle EAF is going to be a half uh, times uh, 4 times uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 3. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 8 times uh, square root of 3 square units. So therefore, the area of this triangle EAF turns out to be 8 times square root of 3. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead now to calculate uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. And we already figured out uh, the area of this uh, semicircle is uh, 8 pi. And the area of this uh, right triangle uh, EAF is uh, 8 times square root of 3. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation. So we got a semicircle area is uh, 8 pi plus uh, 8 times uh, square root of uh, 3. 
So therefore, our yellow shaded region area turns out to be 8 times uh, pi plus square root of 3 square units. And that is going to be equal to 38.99 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.